guys so today I wanted to do a makeup tutorial and it was actually something that was suggested by one of my subscribers she is a follower on Facebook and on Instagram and on YouTube um, her YouTube name is Chrissy Jones and I'm gonna put all her information down below so I wanted to do this because it was a look that I had done on a previous day and I posted it on Facebook, um, sorry, yeah. And I posted it on Facebook and she really liked it and she asked me if I could do the tutorial for the eye makeup and I was like, of course. Every time somebody suggests something, I'm definitely gonna write it down. I have my little Hello Kitty notebook here and I'm gonna start writing down what people suggest and giving shout outs to those people. Today's look is gonna be sort of like a combination of plum runes or burgundies and I'm just gonna go ahead and talk through the video. Let me take a drink of my Ramune. Ramune melon flavor. It is so yummy. So the basics I've already done is moisturize my face, of course. I cannot stress how important it is for you to hydrate your skin. I'm not gonna use BB cream or foundation, just concealer. And I know for some people it's probably like, oh, you can't wear one without the other, but yes, you can. I'm going to move on to my concealer palette, Danny concealer palette. And I just love the consistency of this. It's very creamy and it goes on nice. And it comes with three different colors. So of course you can mix and match the colors to make something close to what you're looking for. But I like to put this under my eye area. I have some, some marks on there. I don't know how I get it. I guess it's sun damage. Hmm. So then once I'm done with that, I go ahead and blend it out with my fingers. So then I just dab it. I don't really pull on my skin. I just like rub it in. Tap it. Of course, you know, if this isn't enough coverage, you're more than welcome to use your foundation or your BB cream or more concealer, of course, if you're just the type that wants to just wear concealer. But I'm content with the way it looks, whatever. I'm, I'm happy with it. So next I'm gonna grab my L'Oreal True Match Powder Foundation thingamajig. And I just like to dab the powder over my concealer help it stay okay I'm pretty much done with the cover-up part of my makeup next the palette I'm using for my eyes today is from the LA colors palette on the back it says what does it say it says precious um, I'll go ahead and put all the information in the box below but these are the colors in the palette and the two colors I'm gonna use for the makeup look are this one and that one. The first color that I put on was this maroon, mauve shimmery color. And that's what I put on. On my eyelid. And I stopped like right here where the hollows of my eyeball start. So I just cover pretty much the lid part. I'm losing daylight, so I had to move my makeshift table. Next, with whatever brush you wanna use, I use the same one. I'm gonna grab that plum color and put that on my crease. Okay, so just find the crease. You see where it starts? Your, your brush goes into your eyeball. That's where I just start doing my sweeping motion with that color. And I like to do like a, kind of like a triangle at the end. So you go down and then you connect it up like that. Down and then connect it like that. And I do the same thing to the other eyeball. So I'm content with the way it looks right now. I'm pretty much 
done with this. Grab a big fluffy brush, I grab this one, and I pretty much just, you know, go all over my eye and blend the colors together. Just like, use it all over my eye. Okay, so next, I'm done with that. I'm actually going to do my eyebrows. I usually do that first, but today for some reason I didn't. And I'm going to use my Ellen Tracy eyeshadow quad. As you guys know, I use eyeshadows for my eyebrows. And I go with the darkest brown. And I'm losing light. I need to hurry up. Okay, and I just pretty much, guys, I I trace my eyebrow. I trace it. So I start with the bottom. Hope you can see this. With the bottom, try to connect it with the stray hairs I have here. Connect it, and then I f sort of fill in my brow towards the end of it. And then like I start I start messing with it with my little brush. You use a spoolie or whatever, but I like the brush because it brushes out the color too, so it's not that intense. Next part I did was I used my Avon's Sugar Plum Glimmer Sticks eyeliner. Okay, and I pretty much did like a cat eye and lined my, oop, lined my eye like that, okay, and I went on the bottom under my waterline. You can tell that I'm new to this because I have no perfect lighting. Once you put your liner, it looks uneven, right? Grab any brush you want because you're gonna sort of smudge it. And I used a brush and smudged it. If you have a smudging brush, then go ahead and use that. And I kind of smeared it all over the eye. And then you do the same for the bottom. Next, I got my Sephora Black Waterproof Liner. And I use that for the waterline itself. If you want, you can go back with your purple liner, which I did. And do the line again, but this time don't smudge it. I know it sounds stupid to do that, but I do it, so I must be stupid. <laughs> so I'm going to do it right now. I added a little bling to it, and naturally I was going to add it with my Etude House bling bling stick. This is a shimmer eye eyeshadow stick in the color pink supernova and what I did was basically put it on the inner corner inner corner uh, yeah on the inner corner part of my eye and kind of flicked it up towards my eyelid okay and then I started like blending it out blending it out you want it to like blend in without having like a cutoff point like you want it to look cohesive and then I went under under my eye I'm going to put my e.l.f. 
blush and it's a really pretty pink shimmery blush. Next I'm going to do my lashes and I'm going to curl them and use my Lights Camera Flashes mascara but of course you're more than welcome to put falsies if you're comfortable with that. Lights Camera Flashes. gonna do this tutorial before I went out with my cousin but I was watching Soul Eater and I got caught up on that so sorry sorry guys this is how my lashes look with that mascara I'm telling you it's in my top five mascaras that you must have I just need to put my lip gloss which what I put is the Balance Me Limited Edition Shine On Tinted Lip Salve, and I got this in my one of my glossy boxes, I believe. It's not the sticky kind of gloss, it's more like watery, and so I, tr I try not to squeeze it because it oozes out if I do. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, Chrissy, I hope this helps. I mean... Everything I put on right now is exactly what I wore in that picture and it probably doesn't look the same to you or it won't look the same to you like in that picture but that's because I had daylight shining through my window and I was right in front of it and right now it's dark and the only light I have is this one. I, honestly though, I love the way it turned out right now better than the picture that I took. I did this for you, Chrissy. I hope you enjoyed it. It's everything I used that day is what I have on. See my eyes. I, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I hope you like it, Chrissy. And thank you again so much for suggesting this video. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.